What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 here in this video here today. Now, none of this that I'm about to say is confirmed. None of this is official. None of this has come from Paramount, Spyglass, or anyone that has been involved with these past two projects we've got in the Scream franchise. This is all just pure speculation and hopefully it ends up being true because shout out to you Chad Meeks. You sent me a message today to let me know of something very interesting that could end up being very important later on down the road if it is worth looking into. Uh, but again none of this is confirmed. So what we know about Scream 7 so far again just to recap is that Paramount allegedly according to viewer not wants it to be shooting no later than October of this year. We know that also there has yet to be an official announcement from Spyglass or Paramount on the actual upcoming film, but we do know that based off the critical and financial success, we should be seeing Ghostface come back for at least one more movie in what many of us are assuming at this point is a planned trilogy for our Carpenter sisters. We also know that the cast involved with Scream 6 is going to be some of them anyway. Some of the more notable ones are going to be busy this summer. We have Jenna who could potentially be shooting Beetlejuice 2. We have Mason who is going to be working on Y2K. He could actually already be filming that. And then we have Melissa Barrera who is actually reteaming with Radio Silence to shoot Abducting Abigail which is currently working under Dracula's Daughter as a working title and that's supposed to start filming sometime next month I believe. Uh, and that actually is the untitled Universal Pictures monster movie that is being reported as untitled it's called abducting abigail and melissa barrera will be reteaming with radio silence to work on that project very soon so with all of that going on and knowing that there is this alleged again rumored date of paramount wanting it to start shooting in the fall perhaps all of these things we're finding out about what the crew is working on is why they want to start shooting in the fall now i was starting to think that maybe there's a chance that they were going to wait for radio silence to clear up their schedule wait for all the other cast members to clear up their schedule and they will start shooting this in the fall to wait for radio silence but they could also be trying to replace radio silence with people who just might want to might want to put their uh get their feet wet with the screen franchise now somebody who could be potentially joining this project is none other than freaky and happy death day writer and director christopher landon who also has had a hand in several of the paranormal activity movies that you may love or hate i know that franchise a little bit hit or miss for some people but christopher landon has seemingly followed started to follow over on instagram all four of the core four actors along with heather martirazzo that was pointed out to me today now, another interesting thing about this is that if you go to Christopher Landon's Twitter page, go through his likes. His second most recent like is related to a poster from the creepy, creepy duck artist that has made some of the most amazing screen posters I've ever seen. So it's got me thinking, could this be looking too much into it or is there something going on here? I'm thinking that there might be a strong chance that this man is involved with Scream 7, whether that be the new director, one of the new co-writers, because not only that, some of the other things we've heard about Scream 7, not official, but again, just something to look into. The writers have talked about how they would love to see the series continue, even if they're not involved. And they've even talked about loving fresh blood or seeing new blood tackle IPs that they love. Radio Silence themselves have come out and stated that they would love to see Scream movies get made, even if they are not involved. So I'm thinking, is Christopher Landon not only about to join a Scream project, this being Scream 7 as a co-writer, but is he also going to be our new director? And Radio Silence unfortunately won't be returning. But if Radio Silence is out and Christopher Landon is in, I won't be too upset about that because I think that Christopher Landon has done some amazing work recently in the horror genre. I'm not saying that everything I've seen from him has been the best thing ever, of course. And I know he just recently had a movie release on Netflix this year. I still need to check that out. But Christopher Landon tackling the Scream franchise, I'm not against that at all. I think he understands the balance between that or teetering that line between horror and comedy just fine. I think he could capture the tone. I think he could be a perfect person to join the Scream franchise. And I will want to shout out Killjoy Jake here because Killjoy Jake has actually said that this would be a great idea of a replacement to see if Radio Silence is not returning. So shout out to you, Killjoy Jake. So if this ends up being true, 
I am just going to be very happy with this. I won't necessarily be happy that radio silence is gone, but I would be happy that if they're being replaced, it's somebody else who I still would love to see what their take on screen would be. And that, of course, would end up being Christopher Landon. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below if this Instagram follower thing is just looking too much into it as long or as well as the Twitter likes that I've somehow discovered for him as well, because his most recent like uh, that was pointed out to me from another friend. Shout out to you is of the creepy duck art guys scream posters so i'm like there's got to be something to it he has to be working on scream 7 not that it's again confirmed i'm just starting to get a little bit too excited most likely but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video